All right, so now that I've taken that honey off, I'm gonna separate this box, give a nice little tap to the bees out of it. Now this is typically where I'll put my, my mite strips in. So if I'm using Apivar mite strips, I pull the Apivar strip here. Now this does have a couple little tab, or tab in here. I do not use this. Uh, this is an older strip that I had in my box still this morning. Uh, but if I were putting this in today, I would put a, cute, a toothpick through the top, like so. And then this would insert down here in the middle of the brood chamber. Wiggle that down in there a little bit. Let it rest on that toothpick. Now I'm going to put one Apivar strip for every five frames of bees there in this hive. I want to put them with at least two frames between them, and I want them both down in that brood cluster so those bees are walking past it constantly. Um, I can put these on right now. It's warm out here today. It's going to be warm for the next couple weeks. These do not have a temperature restriction, so they can go on. They have to stay in for 42 days before I remove them. Uh, there are other mite treatments out there, uh, such as the oxalic acid, if you want to do a drip method or vaporizing method on that, do some research on those two. And the other method we have is the Mitoway Quick Strip. Now the caution on the Mitoway Quick Strips is that there is a temperature restriction on those. So it's way too hot to use those right now. The Apivar is really the only way to go right now. In my operation, I don't use the oxalic acid. So uh, I can put these on for 42 days and leave them be, pull the rest of my honey supers off, treat my hives, get them nice and ready to go into, nice and healthy to go into winter uh, without the mites on there. That's going to give you healthier bees, get through the winter time, greater chance of success while we're winning your hive. So, mite strips, that mite strip is in, I will get a few more to put on this hive. Put that up, let's go to extraction.